Nearly two thirds of middle class Americans say they are struggling financially, just barely grasping for air. Let's dive into it. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, they say right now nearly two thirds of Americans are totally struggling financially, dealing with high inflation and high interest rates. Guys, do you know how big that number is? Two thirds of middle class Americans are struggling? Just shy of three quarters. That's a lot of Americans. Middle class Americans have just been decimated by inflation and high interest rates, guys. It does not have to be this way, guys. It does not have to be this way. Changes can be made for you to have a better financial future. Will it be easy? No. But will it be worth it? Yes. But you have got to want to change. Like anything else in our lives, you have got to want to change it. The 65% of Americans whose incomes are 200% above the national poverty line, which is about 65,000 per family of four, often considered middle class, said they are struggling financially. Respondents include those with high school diplomas, college graduates, graduate degrees, as well as blue and white collar workers who live in both rural and urban America. So this is not just one certain area of the country. It's not like a poor demographic. This is all demographics. Everybody is struggling right now. About 40% of Americans said they are unable to plan beyond their next paycheck, while 45% said they do not even have $500 in the bank for emergencies. Guys, that is not good. Many of these middle class Americans are struggling with debt, which is causing them to live paycheck to paycheck. The typical US household needed to pay $227 per month more this past March to purchase the same goods and services it did one year ago with high inflation. Americans are paying an average of $784 more each month compared with the, the same time two years ago and over $1,000 more per month compared to three years ago. Guys, I just want to tell everybody, I just want to say to everybody, if you do not make any changes financially, get out of debt, start acquiring assets, the same situation you are in now you will be in the same situation 5, 10, 15 years from now. You have to make financial changes. You have to get out of debt, guys. As long as you are in debt, you will continue to live paycheck to paycheck. Living the YOLO lifestyle, you only live once. When you want something, you go and buy it. The high credit card payments got to go. The high car payments got to go. The personal loans, they have to go. HELOCs on your mortgages, they got to go. They are putting a stranglehold on your finances. You cannot get ahead, ladies and gentlemen, if you continue to go into debt. You have to stop going into debt. And I preach about the debt so much on my channel because I know how the debt, me getting out of debt with my ex-wife, has completely changed my life. Changed it. Getting out of consumer debt has completely changed my financial life, guys. I am able to have an emergency fund. I am able to save in my brokerage account. I am able to max out my 401k. Because why? I am not giving my money away to debt. I have credit cards with tons of available credit but I don't run them up, I'm responsible. If I use one, I pay it off the next month. If I have a big expense, I can use my emergency fund. 
or I can use my brokerage account because it's a non-retirement brokerage account. So I can dip into it whenever I feel like it. Guys, getting out of consumer debt has completely changed my life. And I can't stress this enough. As long as you stay in debt, you will never achieve wealth or achieve any type of financial freedom whatsoever because you are going to live giving your money away to creditors. Proverbs 22, seven, the borrower is slave to the lender. There couldn't be a more truer statement. Guys, you need to come up with a plan. You need to get out of debt. You need to build an emergency fund and then you need to start investing. Most of these respondents that, that they survey guys say they don't think that they do not think they'll ever be able to get out of debt. Come on, guys. You guys can do this. You can get out of debt. Me and my ex-wife, we used the Dave Ramsey snowball plan to get out of debt. We chopped each bill down one by one. But I will admit we didn't do the whole plan verbatim because there were some things I agree with. Some things I didn't agree with with the plan. Like for one, I believe in using credit cards. Dave Ramsey does not um, believe in credit cards. I believe in credit cards if you can pay them off monthly when you use them. If you can't pay them off monthly, I don't believe in using credit cards. So we did the Dave Ramsey snowball plan to get out of debt. Follow up, following our bills, smallest to largest, and we chopped that, chopped that tree down one by one. So guys, get a plan. Come up with a plan to get out of consumer debt so you can start building financial freedom. Not everyone wants to be a millionaire. That's my goal. Because since I have no debt, I'm able to max out my 401k at work and I'm able to just throw tons of cash into my brokerage account and let it grow. But maybe you just want some financial freedom so you don't have to worry about money or bills. Because guys, if you cannot afford life now, unless you think your income is going to just go up, double or triple in the next five years, you are going to be in the same boat you're in now. And in my opinion, income doesn't even matter because most people, when they get a higher income, they spend more money. They go more into debt. I get a raise, I raise my, I raise my standard of living. That's the wrong thing to do, guys. That's the wrong thing to do. So getting a raise won't help most, most people. In order to survive now, only people that are surviving right now is retail investors, middle-class investors like me, and billionaires, and millionaires. That's it. Because I have investments that I can dip into if I need money. I don't live paycheck to paycheck. I get my check, pay my mortgage, I invest the rest. That's simple. Getting out of debt, guys, is super hard. But building wealth is super easy. I can attest to that. I can attest to that. Once I got out of debt and started building my wealth, building my wealth has been easy. Just sit back and let my money grow. Only thing I do right now is I invest in the stock market via paper assets, mutual funds, and index funds. That's how I'm growing my wealth. And I have significant wealth right now that's growing not a millionaire yet but i'm gonna get there in the, i'm gonna get there in the next two to three years i'm on my way so guys that's my rant today on how two-thirds of the middle class population in america is absolutely struggling financially so guys remember to share the video like the video and most important please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. Guys, I just want to reiterate the sharing part because I've gotten a lot of comments from some new subscribers that say they found me through uh, my videos being shared on social media platforms. So please share the information, guys, because this information is helpful. I am trying to motivate as many people as I possibly can to get out of debt because I know what getting out of debt has done for my life. I have no financial stress whatsoever because I eliminated consumer debt. I have a mortgage, my three vehicles are paid off, no credit card debt, life is great. 
So guys, with that, thank you for tuning in to the video today. And always remember, financial decisions you make today will impact your financial life tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Talks Money. I'm out of here.